Hello, and welcome to the installation video of the AP500 series indoor access points. In this video, you will learn how to install an AP500 series access point to a protruded, suspended, or drop ceiling using the main mounting bracket with the KT135628-01 adapter and the 30518DCMTR01 bracket. In this video, we will show mostly the AP510i access point as the bracket attachments are the same for all of the AP500 series access points. The KT135628-01 adapter and the DCMTR01 bracket must be purchased separately. The KT adapter should only be used with 15 16 inch wide T-bars. The DCMT01 bracket may be used on 15 16 inch and 1.5 inch wide T-bars. In order to use the adapter and the DCMTR01 bracket on a T-bar, the T-bar must be structurally sound, the T-bar maximum base thickness must be 0.055 inches, and the ceiling can have a maximum protrusion of 0.3 inches below the T-bar for the KT adapter and 5 8 inches for the DCM TR01 bracket. To install the 30518 DCM TR01 bracket on a T-bar, remove the ceiling panel around the drop ceiling. Open the movable sliding part of the bracket to give the stationary and slider T-bar more space. Hook the stationary end of the bracket onto the T-bar. Tilt the bracket up slightly in such a way that you are holding the stationary and movable sides of the bracket. Squeeze the bracket parts together until you hear the T-bar locking tab click into place. The T-bar must be visible in the bracket slots as shown. Slide the T-bar ceiling mount bracket base into the back of the access point. The locking tab fits into a groove in the outside of the AP. Hold the AP and rock it back and forth to ensure that it is securely mounted. Attach the Ethernet cable's RJ45 connector to the LAN1 port. Replace the ceiling tile. To install the KT135628-01 adapter on the main mounting bracket, attach the adapter by lining up the embossed flats on the adapter with the long raised embossments on the main bracket. Pull up on the adapter's locking pin and twist 90 degrees. Once the adapter is on the main bracket, untwist the locking pin and make sure the locking pin goes into the locking pin hole on the main bracket. Now we remove the ceiling tiles to expose where we want to put the bracket on the T-bar. Attach the Ethernet cable's RJ45 connector to the LAN1 port. Slide the T-bar adapter holder onto the T-bar and place the tiles back to hold the adapter onto the T-bar. Hold the AP and rock it back and forth to ensure that it is securely mounted. You have now successfully installed the AP500 series indoor access point on a protruded ceiling. For more installation options, visit the Extreme Networks documentation site and refer to AP500 series installation guides.